the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Wherever you are, we give glory to God. We give him praise for this Resurrection Sunday. Jesus is risen and we are alive. We want to say thank you, oh God. You are welcome to this Sunday service, our Easter convention that we have been holding from Thursday online. Whether you are watching us from Facebook, wherever you are watching us, we are welcome. This morning, we want to bless the name of the Lord. We want to give him praise. My spirit magnify the Lord. My soul praise his name. Even in the grave, he is Lord. Jesus is alive. For death could not hold him captive. Even in the grave, he is Lord. We give you praise. We give My you praise spirit Thank you magnify the, the Lord. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for how far you brought My soul. Thank you for your hand of grace. Praise His name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, Father, we are grateful to you this morning. We thank you for this Resurrection Sunday morning. We thank you, O oh God, for the package you have for us. We pray that, Lord, as we go through this service, Lord, let your word be a blessing unto us. That at the end, Jesus will be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. A king is alive. A king is risen. Wherever you are, you want to give a clap offering to the King of our salvation. To the risen Lord. He reigns forever. There is none like him. His kingdom is from everlasting to everlasting. King of kings, we worship. Lord of lords, we bow to you. For there is none like you. The King, we worship. The King, we worship. The King, we exalt you. Yes, sorry, when you pay the water for a day, it's time to say, Why he need a dog, he need, why he need to ring each other.
Jesus Christ liveth in thee shall quicken that mortal bodies of yours and ye shall receive life in that aspect of your life. Shout his risen. Shout his risen. He's risen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are about to listen to the word of God. And the man to give us the word of God this morning is the president of the Apostolic Church Ghana in the Diaspora. Church, let's receive the ministry of Apostle Dr. Aaron Amina as he shares the word of God with us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We give God praise for such a wonderful time in his presence. Resurrection Sunday is here with us again. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Wherever you are, we celebrate together this day. The resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It happened over 2,000 years ago. But it still has great, great relevance in our lives. It happened over 2,000 years ago. But it still has great relevance in our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. We have a simple statement for us all. And it is that he is not here. He is risen. And he said, Oniha was sorry. He is not here. He is risen. Oniha was sorry. I want you to tell anyone beside you that Jesus is no longer here. He is risen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm reading the gospel according to Matthew, the chapter 28, the first six verses. Now, after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning, and his clothing as white as snow. And the guards shook for fear of him and became like dead men. But the angel answered and said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, come and see the place where the Lord lay. Shall we bow our heads for a word of prayer? we give you praise heavenly father we thank you for giving us such a day though we are gathered in our homes you are still present with us and we give you praise that you will do something new in our lives for you never change and your word remains true lord we still have fellowship together in you because fellowship is in the spirit so this day touch our lives oh god and do something new in our lives. Bring us into the full realization of that sacrifice you made for us. Let it be true in our lives, even as you have written in your word. To you alone be praise, O oh God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He is not here. Uniha he is risen. Was sorry. And I like how it's written. The angel told the women, He is risen as he said. Was, as he said. Was sorry. God is God and God does not hide. God is God and whatever he says is true. God is God and nothing can withstand his word. The soldiers were made to go and guard the tomb. 
so that he cannot rise but just one angel one angel descended and they all became like dead men the stone that was difficult to roll away he rolled it away and sat on it I don't know what obstacle you are facing in your life whatever seems unsurmountable I want you to know that the resurrection power in Jesus can deal with your situation it can roll away that obstacle praise God Hallelujah. he is risen just as he said whatever God has said concerning your life fear not hold that word and it shall come to pass for his glory just as he said just as he said praise God hallelujah one of our hymns says that what he has he is alive what he has was sorry if you fool now was sorry senior okay hallelujah praise God hallelujah He's risen just as he said. What sorry said your kind, you know. Because he said, No one is taking my life from me. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again. If it's I said, No, be naked, me, quen, free, me, me, what to me, some, me, the two, or, now, me, what to me, some, me, I'm a son, Fabio. He alone is God. Well, no, calling, young, coupon. Praise God. Hallelujah. But on this special day, we want to focus on the words that the angel spoke that he is not here, he's risen. And then that's from Queen, and some more about four Nikayano, and only a person at Jinasu Siwoniha, when your name. You know, sometimes when you're looking for something and it's not there, there might be many reasons why it's not there. So the angel had to give the reason. He's not here, but it's not because he's been stolen away. He's not here. It's not because he is rotten. No, he is not here because he is risen. Praise God. Hallelujah. In essence, the angel was trying to tell them, he said, come and see where he lay. The tomb was empty. So in a sense, he was telling them, stop looking for Jesus where he is not. And that word is relevant for us this day. Some of us are still looking for him where he is not. He's risen. He's not here. If we look in the Bible, there was some discussion between Jesus and a Samaritan woman. If you look at John the chapter 4, that discussion is there. If, if you read the verses 20 and 21 and then you jump to 23 and 24, let me read it for us. The woman said, our fathers worship on this mountain. And you Jews, referring to Jesus, say that in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. Jesus said to her, woman, believe me. Whoever you are listening to the word of God, believe the word of God. You need to. He says, woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. But the hour is coming and now is. 
This is what I want us to take note of. The hour is coming and now is. When the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And I want us to take a look at these words well. Because you can still see in our form of worship in our generation many things in which he is not there. So listen to me. God in his own wisdom gave a lot of symbols and signs which stood for the coming of Jesus. And most of these things you can find in the Old Testament. They all pointed to the coming of the Savior and what he will do for our lives. So there were symbols. Some of them were the sacrificing of animals to tell us that Jesus will come and shed his blood for us. And another was the, the, the designation of holy places. That there are special places to worship God in. And that is the kind of encounter that Jesus had with the woman. Whether it's this mountain or it's Jerusalem. And Jesus said, none of them. So we need to know that there are no special places for worship. Because God is spirit. God is spirit. And if you look for him, you will find him wherever you are. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Some people still have this thing in their mind. So even when they don't have money, Money, they have to travel to certain places looking for certain mountains. It's true. You need a place where you can have some, some quietness. A place where you won't have any disturbance. True. But you don't need to waste all that. Because there is a special place, there is no special place. Because the Bible says that the average African is superstitious. So we believe in a lot of symbolisms that we find in the in the Old Testament. And though Jesus has come, we still want to hold on to those rituals. But he is not there. He is not in the emblems anymore. Why he is risen. That he might live in us. The true temples. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let's stop looking for him in rituals. He wants to be real in your life. Praise God. Hallelujah. He is not here. He is risen. May these words mean a lot to you. And may these words bring the power of God into your life. Why did Jesus do all this? He didn't do it for himself. He did it for you. I said he did it for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you read Isaiah 53, the verse 11, he, says that he shall see of the travail of his soul and he shall be satisfied. 
He was saying that when his soul is made an offering for sin, that is when he comes to die for us, he will see the results of what he's doing. The result is you. The result is in your salvation. The result is in your deliverance. The result is in your prosperity. The result is in you becoming a child of God. You are his satisfaction. Because you are the fruit of his labor. Hebrews chapter 12 the verse 2 also tells us. Advising us to look on Jesus. Who is the author and finisher of our faith? And he said, who for the joy that was set before him? You are his joy. He endured the cross. Because you are his joy. He despised the shame. Because you are his joy. Praise God. Hallelujah. What did he see? He saw something different in you. He rose not for himself, he rose for us. So his death and resurrection also brings a certain shift in our lives. When we come to believe in him, we also shift from an old place to a new place. So the angel is telling us we shouldn't look for him in the tomb. He's not there. I'm also saying that don't look for yourself in that old place again. Don't look for yourself in your old self again. No, you have also shifted through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because once you've come to believe in Jesus, something has happened to you. His word says, if any man be in Christ, and you qualify to be that now also praise anymore. God you have become a new creation certain things are called old things the dead things they have passed away and all things have become new Today, may you be renewed in your mind and in your spirit. So I want you to know that you have been shifted, you have moved, you have been translated. And I'm going to use some scriptures to confirm that. If we look at Colossians 1.13. It says, who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. So you were enslaved under the power of darkness but by your faith in Jesus you have been delivered and translated. So don't look for yourself where you were anymore. You've moved from slavery into becoming a child of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So don't look for yourself any demo. I mean, some of us still have that mentality of the old and it's difficult for us to live in the new. That is why we are exhorted to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Something happened to the machinery of the devil 
The cross did something to the machinery of the devil. And you have to know that. Psalm 124, the verse 7 says, Our soul is escaped as a bed out of the snare of the foulest. The snare is broken. The snare is broken. And we are escaped. The power of the enemy against you is broken. You can see it. But it is broken. Praise God. Hallelujah. I said you can see it. But it is broken. And you have to hold on to that faith. It was purchased for you. Now, what through the death and resurrection of our Lord and Jesus I'm yes Christ. To, you have shifted by his resurrection from a place of curses to a place of blessing. Did somebody hear that? I say, you have shifted from a place of curses to a place of blessing. Some people still believe that the curses in their families are still upon them, even though they are in Christ. I'm sorry, then you don't understand the new birth. If we are talking about a new birth, it means the old is dead. The one who was cursed is dead. The one who has been born is blessed. So if you have been born anew, you are blessed. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me read Colossians the chapter 2, the verses 13 to 15. He says, and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh hath he quickened together with him having forgiven you all trespasses blotting now the handwriting of ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us and took it out of the way nailing it to his cross nailing it to his cross and having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a shoe of them openly, triumphing over them in it. You see, he has nailed the curse on the cross. Why? Cursed is he that hangs on the cross. Those things can happen in your family, but you are not part of it anymore. And because the just shall live by faith, stand in the faith of the word of God. And you will realize the truth in the world that the snare is broken. Let your confession be different. Let your faith be different. For the resurrection power is in you. And it shall quicken your mortal body. So that you will live for his glory. All things have passed away. Don't look for him in the tomb. And don't look for yourself in your old place. You have also shifted. And you see what I like about our salvation. Is that he comes to live in us. That's why he says that we, we should worship him in spirit and in truth. Worship him within your soul. Worship him in your spirit. Worship him in the innermost part of your being. You have become the new temple. The sanctuary of God. That is why when Jesus died, the veil separating the holy place from the most holy place was torn, completely torn, in twain from top to bottom. Inviting all who will into his presence. Wherever you are this moment, 
there. The Lord is there. The Lord is with you. And you can experience his resurrection power. As, as much as you are ready to believe. And I want you to be uplifted in your faith. It is because he's risen, that's why he can live in you. And 1 John 4, 4 says, Ye are of God, little children. And you have overcome them. And listen to his reason. Because greater is he that is in you. Uh, if he didn't rise, he, he couldn't live in you. It is because he is risen. That's why he is able to live in us. And quicken our mortal bodies. So you have overcome. You have overcome. You have overcome. You have overcome. It doesn't matter your circumstances. You have overcome. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in nowhere. And I like these words also in Colossians that Christ in you is the hope of glory. Ha. Ha. He is in you. He is in you. And is the hope of glory. Whatever God has said concerning you, it shall come to pass one day whether we die or we are changed we will be part of that glorious assembly not because of our perfection but because of his blood he is not here he is risen sorry let me leave you with these words. When Jesus rose from the dead, whenever he appeared to his disciples, there was one statement he continued to make. He used to tell them that peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. Wherever you are, I speak the words of the Lord unto you that peace be unto you. It doesn't matter the circumstances around you, peace be unto you. It doesn't matter this COVID-19 era, peace be unto you. It is possible for you to have peace because he paid for it. Uh, for the Bible says the chastisement of our peace was upon him. The peace of God be with you. May the peace of God carry you through these times. Oh, this shall pass. And you will be standing stronger than you entered. May the resurrection power of Jesus keep your head above the waters. May evil pass over you and not touch you. May the Lord preserve you and your family. Because he is risen. He will lead you on his path of righteousness to that glorious place of destiny. He is not here. He is reason. You are no longer there. You've been translated. Victory is yours. Keep holding on to it. Just bath on your head with me. Begin to glorify the Lord within you. Bless him from your heart and say, Lord, I thank you for Calvary. I bless your name. 
that Jesus rose from the dead and he lives for me. Shano wakuma mna kachene se eradie medawasi ema kavri medawasi se yesu ebaye ebe wumami. And begin to accept your position of victory. Na koso ekji wunkudi mdiye jina biano etum. And if you have never given your life to Jesus, oh what a day to say Lord forgive my sins I'm a sinner and write my name in the book of life. What a day to do this. Na se wunfa wunhu Emma Yesua, and yet a dance room could be any Saudi Umbema Yesu, no one can say Radie, Jimmy, natural meeting a one woman. You can pray to him now, the Lord save me, he will save you. We bet me up on Payas, and see, I say Radie, Jimmy, and we'll bet you. And if you've accepted the Lord as your savior, but you've been living in the old rituals. Na se waji no se wo kra ni waji nkwa nanso wuti amamre dada ni mu discard them and come to the place of power so chini na bra to me jina bia no and begin to live in his resurrection power na fiase etna ase e bobra e wo ni wusori etu mi no talk to god this moment woni nyame enkasa sabri he is ready to hear you why your crowd us we beti you we bless your name oh god all glory is thine for what you've done, what you are doing now, and what you will continue to do. The whole earth bows before you, for you alone are God. We bless you. Continue to have your way in the midst of your people. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. It's not here, but he's a risen. Ah. He's worthy of our glory, our glorious King. Ah. And you know, say no. And you know, say no. But my message is Jesus Christ. And you know, say no. Oh, when I summon, and to me I cry, no, so say. Oh, hallelujah. And you know, say no. And you know, say no. And you know, say no. Yes, we Christ so I sorry if you fum for when I am and to me a grand is so da 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 Oh hallelujah and you know said no We see a wound in a summer and to me a grand is so Oh hallelujah and you know said no We see a wound in a summer and to me a grand is so Oh hallelujah and you know said no We see and you know said no and your name said no Yes, you Christ, so and your name said no But when we are summer and to be a grand is Oh, hallelujah, and your name said no You see, oh, when we are summer and to be a grand is Oh, hallelujah, and your name said no Hallelujah, hallelujah Yes, you Christ, I think you need what you need, my man
Tipo 